Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 23 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to explore about order by function and spark function, uh, sorry, sort function in PySpark. So both of these functions will actually help you to perform the sorting on data frame based on one column or multiple column. Both these functions will work similar actually. So you can use either order by or you can use sort so both the functions does the same thing it will help you to sort the data frame data in ascending or descending orders based on single or multiple columns and also if you don't specify explicitly whether you want to do ascending order or descending order then by default it will sort the data in ascending order only let me practically explain you this so that you will make make more sense of it so let's go here I have copied some uh, data here, some notebook creation, I mean data frame creation code here. Let me copy this and then let me go to my browser where I have opened Databricks workspace. And here under compute, you can see I have created one cluster already here. So let me go to workspace and here under my name, let's try to create a new data frame here. Uh, sorry, new notebook here. And uh, for this notebook, I want to name it as like maybe order by notebook okay so this is the notebook name and python is a default language and this is my cluster let me hit create button to create this uh, notebook here let me close this dialog box here and here let me paste the code what i copied just now and if i zoom and explain this i am doing very simple thing so in my PySpark playlist from the starting if you are seeing the videos you know how to create a data frame right it is a similar kind of code here i have a data variable which holds a list in which i have totally four rows so this will applies to the one row and you can see the second row third row and fourth row and every row has a id column name column gender salary and department so that schema also i defined here and i am using a create data frame function to create a data frame with this data now let me do this let me use this data frame dot show function to show the data frame data first and then we will discuss about sort and order by functions. So let's wait for the command to execute here. Command executed successfully. Now if you see we have totally let's assume four employees which has id column, name column, gender, salary and department. So so far it is good. So now let's assume I want to sort this data using department column. So how to do that? So to do that, what I can do here is on top of data frame, I can use sort function directly. So if you want to know documentation of this, what you do, you use a help function and pass data frame dot sort. It will give you documentation. Let me execute and show you. So I'm not going to re go through this entire documentation now. You can check it manually and you can also see the examples also there. So now let's go back here. And as I said, Maybe I want to sort my data frame data based on based on department column. So what I can do to the sort function, I should pass my column on which I want to perform the sorting. So you can pass your column name either like as a simple string or you can pass using a call function or using another syntax right in our previous videos we discussed data frame dot column name. You can use that syntax also to represent a column right. So either of the syntax you can use it. So let me show you all the syntaxes here. So I'm using department as a string here, my column name. So if you closely observe the data sorted in ascending order with the department name. Why? Because as I said, by default, ascending order is the default criteria, uh, default sorting criteria it use. So not only this, as I said, you can use this data frame dot then column name. So this also represents a column in a data frame. So it will still work the same. So let me execute this. You can see the still same thing. So now you may be wondering whether the order by also does the same thing. Yes, it will does the same thing. So let me use a order by function. Let me do the same thing, department sorting. And then let me use a show function here. Now if I execute this, both the results are same. If you observe in the both the results, this department column sorting is same thing, right? So why that is happening? Because of this column representation into the functions. So now uh, let's assume for some reason 
uh, let me execute this code once again and let me explain you one more thing so now the data is sorted in department column it is fine so after sorting in department column then for every department maybe i want to sort the data uh, using the id column okay so list id should come uh, top and the next id that means in ascending order i want to sort the id columns also so what you can do here after department column sorting then you can use something like this so i am passing two column names to perform the sorting now if i hit shift enter it will do the sorting now if you see department id 2 came first and then department uh, sorry employee id 2 came first and then employee id 4 came next why because in the ascending order it is sorting so first it sorted the department and then for each department it is sorted the ids now for some reason uh, let's assume this is fine uh, what i want is i want to sort this uh, department and then i want to sort the ids in a descending order then what you can do here dot you can use this descending function to explicitly say are uh, using department sort the column data in ascending order because i haven't mentioned anything so ascending order will be default criteria then sort the id column in a descending order so that's what i am doing so if i execute this using a shift enter it will perform the same thing see now id columns are in a descending order let's assume i want to sort this department column also in a descending order then what i can do on top of the department column i can use this descending function and if i hit shift enter it will do the same thing all the departments sorted in a descending order and then in the hr department if you closely observe because we have a two rows there the id columns also sorted in a descending order so this is how the sort function will work even the order by function does the same thing so let me copy this code and let me paste it and here i can do the same thing so order by department in descending order then id in descending order or for our understanding i can use department order by ascending then again id column also order by ascending order so let me hit shift enter and observe the both the results if you see here the second uh, representation of the data here department is in ascending order sorted and again the id column in which sorted in a ascending order whereas here department entirely sorted in a descending and then id column for each department sorted also in descending order so this is how this order by and sort functions will be very helpful when you want to perform the sorting of the data in data frame using single column or multiple columns I hope you got an idea. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.